the transition from using just um, oral uh, preaching to uh, going into more violent terms to help with um, the abolition of slavery. And he, um, he had, his father was a clergyman, Lyman Beecher, and in his early years, he kind of inherited the um, like the foundation of preaching, and um, over the years, he built up um, his preaching method into a very popular um, foundation for him. And at the time, the one of the only sources of education for the common American was through lectures and preaching. So, um, seeing that he was a very popular preacher and that lectures were very important for influencing and educating the common man, that he was very influential to a lot of Americans and helped sway them to go um, and be on his side for abolishing slavery. And also, he later became the first uh, pastor for the Plymouth Congregational Church. And in this era, it became the, like, most highly praised um, uh, Protestant church at the time. And the next point is that he used the violence to help uh, abolish slavery. And he used a weapon uh, that he fundraised called Beecher Bibles. And they weren't Bibles, they were actually originally called Sharp's Rifle. And these were very effective weapons. And Beecher believed that by using these rifles, um, it would be a very effective way to overcome slavery. And so these rifles were used especially in um, an act in Bleeding Kansas, it was called at the time, because it was a very um, conflicted time for Kansas when Northerners were brutally fighting against Southerners so that Kansas could be admitted to the Union as a free state versus a slave state. And uh, Beecher helped get um, or arm abolitionists from New England, where he was from, to help fight in Kansas with these Beecher Bibles. And they were shipped in the form of books and Bibles to help hide their identity. Um, and like it says, Beecher believed that the Sharp Bible was truly moral agency and that there was more and more power in one of those instruments so far as slave holders of Kansas were concerned than in a hundred Bibles. So he, uh, even though he was a preacher, he used violent terms to help um, abolitionists win uh, the freedom of Kansas as it was admitted to the Union. Eventually it was admitted as a free state, um, so he was a very prominent figure and helped Kansas in that way. But overall, he was one, a very prominent and popular orator, and he also used violent terms through his future Bibles um, to help abolish slavery.